It's not often I do two podcasts in a row, but this one is firing me up, and I'm going to put it in the Garrett on the go because this is a story on the go about a thousand flights grounded by Southwest Airlines, and pilots of these flights say it's not a protest to the COVID-19 vaccine mandate that Southwest has put in effect, and expected all pilots to abide by or be fired by December 8th, 2021. Now, we all know pilots and and those on the ground that get us in the air and any people that work in the actual job, not those in the air-conditioned offices, as President Trump once said, are to be commended. But to me, this one, this one is very intriguing because these pilots have the union behind them. And why is having a union behind them very intriguing? Because normally, unions represent the liberal side of the coin, meaning if there's something that's anti-civil rights or anti-human rights, so to speak, they will go and sue the employee, the employer. But this lawsuit has to do with anti-COVID policy, which we know the left loves COVID policy. They love to lock us in as best as they could. But this one deals with anti-COVID policy. So I hope liberals and conservatives understand and, and Republicans understand the unions play a big role no matter who they defend. Because it is looking more likely that there was an organized strike which granted one, th- and they may not say it is, 1,000, 1,000 flights stranding, by the way, uh, it stranded a lot of people. And the Southwest Airlines Pilot Association represents nearly 10,000 pilots, told CNBC members were not holding up the flights and blamed the airline's executives for mismanaging the company. But Bloomberg is saying there's a lawsuit that originated in August that says the airline broke labor laws. Uh, Mary Schlingenstein is, is reporting this at Bloomberg. And so there was going to be a decision that had to be coming down by October 4th. Well, Friday comes around and there was already talks of protest. And then this happens. This happens. Now, no one wants to be fired in this day and age for doing what the company says to do because it becomes a freedom, it feels more political than it does health wise, right? But for 27% of their flights for Sunday, for the union to be suing Southwest for, let's face it, pilots to ground 1,000 flights is just too coincidental for it to not be a pilot-driven strike. And they stranded... I'm trying to get the number for you because they stranded so many passengers. That's why I'm talking about this today. They stranded... I'm trying to get the exact number for you because I want you to know how many people are stranded right now in America because of Southwest Airlines and what seems to be a protest. I'm not usually wearing a a tinfoil hat. I don't believe in that. But when you see the unions involved in this, oh, man, the unions, they organize for anything. They would organize, uh, by the way, Uh, they they organize for the strike of a ham sandwich. Okay, you get the joke of the United. They'll strike for a ham sandwich, too. That's how much they organize. And yesterday, there were 108 cancellations on a busy Columbus Day weekend. 
And yet, tonight, in airports across the country, there are Americans stranded. And if, if these pilots did organize a walkout or a ground, a grounding of these planes, should they be considered domestic terrorists? Some would consider them heroes. But I would consider this a turning point, a lesson that unions matter. And union contracts matter. And I, I, I would like to get the Southwest Airlines Pilot Association on my podcast because I want to hear what they have to say about the speculation that a thousand flights, the week that the decision had to come down, the week that these protests were starting to ramp up, is not affiliated with it. I want to hear them describe that. Because we could be proud of the, the pilots on the, in the air and those on the ground to get the job done that are union members. But when union leaders get a hold of things, no matter what side of the aisle, they get a hold of them and they will strand thousands of Americans tonight in airports across the country. The unions will do that. And I believe the pilots had the union leaders in their ear saying what to do. The evidence is there. Is it not? So on this Garrett on the go, I say let's go, Southwest Airlines Pilot Association. Let's get these flights going. I know termination stinks. And, and, on, and on Southwest Airlines, you have a PR disaster on your hands. You have a PR disaster on your hands. Figure it out with these pilots. Don't make the union make these kind of moves. But I, I just think with the evidence mounting, the thousand flights canceled. The pilots may say it, but the association. These associations, they organize. And they organize well. And so I would not put it past them to ground Americans in a political fight with Southwest Airlines. And that's a shame. And that's a shame. So to go back to my original point, don't ever count out the unions for either side of the aisle. That's the lesson. Because even a non-liberal idea, if their union has reps that don't want to f- go along with this mandate, which seems to be an imposition, according to conservatives, and a, a, a lack of choice, that conservatives say, then they will represent that side. They're being paid by the pilots to represent them. But now the unions have taken over and they are holding these Southwest Airlines hostage and the airline has to get it together. I think remove the mandate. I think remove the termination. I think being fired for this doesn't make sense either. But work with them. Don't play hardball, Southwest Airlines, because the union will do more. Just you watch. Just you watch. I'm Alexander Garrett. Garrett on the go. We'll talk to you soon. But Southwest Airlines, get your act together. And the Pilot Association, fly again. Don't hold regular American passengers hostage.